Hello guys, this is Julia, and today in this video, I'm going to be installing Windows 10 S on actual hardware, which I have a friend on the phone. Say hi. Yeah. Alright, so I got an ISO and a USB. Well, it's on the USB, and now we're going to install it on Windows 10 S, and I'm actually going to test it out for a week on this computer. So let's just, how does it boot menu? Is it like F12? Yeah, it is. Yep. Looks like it's gonna go to the boot menu here. There it is. Press the key to boot. Yep, it's booting from the USB. That's a good sign. Um, so Windows 10 S is basically a version of Windows 10 where you can't run EXEs. Like you can't download programs. You can only get apps through the App Store. The only downside is you have to use Microsoft Edge. You can't use Chrome. So. Yeah, you'd have to use Edge for a browser in Windows 10S. But I'm going to be installing it on this computer, and I'm going to use it probably for a week on this computer and then let you know, like, how it is. Like, I'll make probably a video a week later of a review, and then I might update it to Pro. So, since the Pro upgrade is actually free from S for now. Um, it's doing the little Windows loading thing. So I can't wait to try this out. I never even tried Windows 10 S in a VM ever. So this is going to be really cool. So uh, it's loading slowly but surely. I'm not sure what OS was on this computer. I just booted straight from the USB. I'm guessing maybe Extreme Light. Not entirely sure, but I'm going to wipe it out. So. Oh. It's loading. Okay, Windows. This, this is not working. My mouse doesn't appear to be working, so I just gonna have to use the mouse pad. Next, install. I wonder why this isn't working. It's not even lighting up. Let me try plugging this in again. Hold on. There we go. Now it works but only on this. Um, so setup is starting. Just gotta give it some time. All right. Um, my friend was also the one that gave me this ISO, so it'd be pretty cool to actually get to try it because before I thought you had to use the S installer because I heard someone tell me install Windows 10 Pro and then use that. Um, should I type in the key at this screen? Because it's asking for the product key. Uh, yeah, type the key in. Alright, let me, um, pause the video so I can do that. Shout out this guy right. for the key, you know? Alright, yeah. Alright, guys, we're back. It, we got it working. We got the key typed in. So, this is going to be a legitimate copy of Windows 10S. We're going to go to custom. Yeah, it looks like it had some sort of extreme light on here. Okay, goodbye. Delete. And delete and then we're gonna, gonna go next and it's going to install Windows 10 S I would I would time-lapse it but it would make the video file bigger so I think I'm just going to pause it for now and come back when it's rebooting all right all right guys it wants to reboot so let's reboot um, probably I don't know if I yeah, I could just leave the flash drive in and it'll be fine um, hopefully it doesn't boot to it, like, by default, because that's not what I want to do. Oh, it's not? Okay, good. So, it's booting up. It probably has to, you know, do all that setting up stuff, you know, how Windows 10 is, how it does all that, um, hasn't gotten to that point yet. We'll see until it gets there. I'll probably end up stopping it here shortly just to save time and come back when it's actually at a setup. But we'll see if what it says first. Um, okay. Guess I'll just pause it till it gets to that. All right, it said, okay, it says like starting services now, so I assume it's, you know, getting ready to do all this stuff. So I'll come back when we actually get to a setup screen though to save time. All right guys, so it says just a moment and it looks like we got Cortana set up here. 
so it says welcome just a moment and it should be saying like high end stuff i mean it hasn't done that yet but there it goes start with region okay i hear it yeah, sure it's right i think it can like you could say yes and it hears you let me try it um let's see it says just a moment Yes. Yes. It heard me. No, no, no second layout. Um, going through setup here, guys, of Windows 10 S. This is interesting. We're gonna skip network for now. We'll connect it afterwards to the internet. Rename this. Okay, now type a we don't need a password for now. Let's see, this is actually pretty fast setup. I'm gonna have to say, guys, it's... I'm not gonna use Cortana, just because I don't use Cortana, so... You know what I'm gonna do with these privacy settings? I'm just going to turn them all off. Off. Yes, every single one off. Okay. Ugh, kiss is hard to hold. And it's talking to us. Let's see. Sorry about the TV in the background. And there's Cortana, and then it should do the, you know, high blah blah blah, we're setting up, so it says, hi, we're, we're getting everything ready for you, that's new, that's new, I've never seen that, so this is Windows 10 S, um, I've never seen it say that before, this might take several minutes, okay, I'll just come back when we get to a desktop in that case. Alright guys, we're on the desktop and we have the Windows 10 S background, so that's a good sign. Oh, I opened the wrong thing. I didn't want Edge. I'm trying to go to the system properties here. And then we'll connect it to the internet. Or we can just go to settings, system about, and see the build and stuff. And S. Um, this is going to be interesting. Um, it's just freezing up a lot so far. Oh, there. I just want to see what, well, we can see what all sorts of settings, system, and then we'll go to about here, and yep, Windows 10 S, nice, Windows 10 S, um, if I go here, and um, it's also Windows 10 S, um, we're gonna, Put this online. So we're going to connect it real quick. I'm gonna pause it. All right, guys, we're back. I connected to Wi-Fi, got it activated. We had a little bit of an activation issue, but now it says it's activated here. So we have Windows 10 S and activated. And I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you try to install an EXE. So let's take a flash drive and let's try to install an EXE on here. Um, so just putting in my flash drive. Let me just be right back. Okay, so we just, let's see. Oh, let's try to install Discord because why not? No, you can't do that. Um, it S will tell you you must install from the store. Um, it's not even saying that. <laughs> it's not doing anything. <laughs> Oh, it's not even giving an error message on this. Yep, there it is. This only runs verified apps from the store. It says, for security and performance, this 
mode of Windows only runs verified apps from the store. It helps, it helps protect your PC and keeps it running smoothly. It tells you, if you still want to run this app, see how, which will tell you to get Windows 10 Pro, so... Let's click see how and see what happens. I bet it takes us to Windows 10 Pro. Just wait. Oh, it's gonna take me there, because it's already taken me to the store. Oh... Here it goes, it's gonna say, get Windows 10 Pro! Let's find out. And... It's loading. And... It hasn't said it yet. And... There it goes, switch to Windows 10 Pro, yeah. Yeah, no. We're not gonna do that right now, because I'm gonna use Windows 10 S for a week on this laptop, maybe two and give my full review on Windows 10 S. And the only way to actually know is to use Windows 10 S because I use, um, I use mainly Pro on my computer, so. I'm just going to um, use this for a week or two and then come back and then give you my review and then I'll probably do this Windows 10 Pro in the next video. So yeah, you cannot run apps unless they're from the App Store, which is right here, which means you're stuck with Microsoft Edge because you can't install Chrome because Chrome's an EXE. So, yeah. So, I'm going to uh, make some more videos showing you more on this. Let's see. Let's go to let's go to settings. I'm sure we probably got some Windows updates on this. Windows 10 S. Um, it's just being really slow right now. But that's just because it's not going to be, you know, the fastest. Because this computer is lower end, and I showed you the specs on that other screen. It's only got one gig of RAM and a really old processor. So we'll check that. So I believe it'll get FCU as well when it comes out, because Windows 10 S still gets all of the updates. Well, Anyways, that was installing Windows 10 S on actual hardware. I'll use this for a week or two, and I'll come back, and I'll give you my review on it, and then we'll upgrade it to Windows 10 Pro for free, since they allow that right now. Okay, guys, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this. Let me know your opinions on Windows 10 S in the comments below, and bye-bye for now.